combat drones have gained immense popularity across the globe for the fact that they stand the potential to be used for various military missions without endangering human life. There are a multitude of different types of drones currently in use by various armed forces. And in today's video we will talk about the most expensive and powerful combat drone in the world. The MQ-9 Reaper. Let's first jump to the MQ-9 Reaper origin and mission capability. The MQ-9 Reaper is the primary offensive strike unmanned aerial vehicle for the US Air Force. It is a large unmanned aircraft manufactured by military contractor, General Atomics. It's remotely operated by a two-person team, consisting of a pilot and an aircrew member who operates sensors and guides weapons. The M, in its name stand for multi-role, and Q, means remotely piloted aircraft system, and the 9 indicates it is the ninth in the series of remotely piloted aircraft systems. The U.S. Air Force Air Combat Command initiated the MQ-9 Reaper program on May 2, 2002. Although a handful of aircraft were purchased in the following years for testing and development, it wasn't until 2006 that the Pentagon began ramping up production. At the time, Reaper procurement was still combined with its predecessor, the MQ-1 Predator. The first Reaper Squadron, the 42nd Attack Squadron, was activated on November 6, 2006 and became operational in 2007. The MQ-9 Reaper is an armed, multi-mission, medium-altitude, long-endurance remotely piloted aircraft that is employed primarily against dynamic execution targets and secondarily as an intelligence collection asset. Given its significant loiter time, wide-range sensors, multi-mode communication suite, and precision weapons, it provides a unique capability to perform strike, coordination, and reconnaissance against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. Next we will talk about the design and performance of MQ-9 Reaper. The Predator and Reaper were designed for military operations and not intended to operate among crowded airline traffic. A typical MQ-9 system consists of multiple aircraft, ground control station, communications equipment, maintenance spares, and personnel. With a 66 feet or 20 meters wingspan, and a maximum payload of 3,800 pounds or 1,700 kilograms, the MQ-9 can be armed with a variety of weaponry. Its endurance is 30 hours when conducting ISR missions, which decreases to 23 hours if it is carrying a full weapons load. The Reaper has a range of 1,850 kilometers and an operational altitude of 50,000 feet or 15,000 meters, which makes it especially useful for long-term loitering operations, both for surveillance and support of ground troops. The aircraft also has the sensor ball replaced with a high-definition camera, better communications so ground controllers can see the higher-quality video, software to enable automatic detection of threats and tracking of 12 moving targets at once, and the ability to super ripple fire missiles within 0.32 seconds of each other. The remotely piloted aircraft can be disassembled and loaded into a single container for deployment worldwide. The entire system can be transported in the C-130 Hercules or larger aircraft. And now we will discuss about the engine and armament of MQ-9 Reaper. MQ-9 is powered by the flight-certified and proven Honeywell TPE 331-10 turboprop engine, a 950-horsepower turboprop integrated with digital electronic engine control, which significantly improves engine performance and fuel efficiency, particularly at low altitudes. The maximum speed of the MQ-9 is about 260 knots or 480 kilometers per hour or 300 miles per hour and a cruising speed of 150 to 170 knots or 280 to 310 km per hour. For its weapons, the MQ-9 Reaper can be equipped with A. AGM-114 Hellfire Missiles AGM-114 Hellfire Missiles, which are already successfully used on Predators. These are guided air-to-ground missiles designed to hit armored, lightly armored and other targets that require precise strikes. B. GBU-12 Paveway-2 System It is a high-precision air bombs based on the classic MK-82 bombs, weighing 227 kg and equipped with a laser guidance system. C. GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munitions 
It is a long-known JDAM bomb. The GBU-38 version is the lightest version, so it is suitable for use by drones. JDAM bombs have a control section and are aimed at the target using GPS and an inertial system. And D, it can also use GBU-54 laser ammunition systems that combine JDAM accuracy with laser pointers. These bombs can also attack moving targets. The military can choose the weapons depends on the specific task and missions. And last, let's jump into the technology features and price of the MQ-9 Reaper. A. The MQ-9 Baseline System The MQ-9 Baseline System has a robust sensor suite for targeting. Imagery is provided by an infrared sensor, a color, monochrome daylight TV and an image intensified TV. The video from each of the imaging sensors can be viewed as separate video streams or fused with the IR sensor video. The aircraft is also equipped with a color nose camera, generally used by the pilot for flight control. B. Radar system of the MQ-9 Reaper. The radar system on the Predator B also represented an upgrade over the earlier Predator series. Since the Predator B was expected to act as a strike vehicle, a better targeting radar was developed by General Atomics in conjunction with Sandia National Laboratories. The new radar system was known as the Lynx Synthetic Aperture Radar. Not only does the new radar have 4-inch imagery resolution, it can also zoom. It allows the Predator B to accomplish its ground imaging role even in poor conditions. C. The Ground Control Station or GCS. The ground control station functions as the aircraft crew can control the aircraft either within line of sight or beyond line of sight via a combination of satellite relay and terrestrial communications. The GCS is either mobile to support forward operating locations or fixed at a facility to support remote split operations. The GCS has the capability to perform mission planning, provide a means for manual and or autonomous control, and a GCS configuration to allow control of multiple aircraft and payloads, allow personnel to launch, recover, and monitor aircraft or threats, payloads, and system communication status. The GCS was expected to continue to evolve and upgrade its capabilities to keep pace with MQ-9 aircraft capabilities and the missions they perform. So, with all of that features and capabilities, how expensive is the MQ-9 Reaper? According the US Air Force has stated that the unit cost of an MQ-9 Reaper is $56.5 million, for a package that includes four aircraft with sensors, ground control station and Predator primary satellite link. And they cost about $3,500 per flight hour. And that is our video today about the MQ-9 Reaper, the most expensive and advanced military drone in the world. Thank you for watching and see you on the next awesome videos.